Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a purchase or pass. This is where I talk about new and upcoming releases in the beauty community and uh, my thoughts on them. Will I be picking them up? Will I be passing? Am I undecided? We all know that that happens quite frequently. But as always, I will be linking in the description box some accounts that I love to follow on Instagram. This is where I get my information for these videos as well as how I stay organized on what I'm going to be picking up and just knowing, I'm staying in the know about what is releasing, especially right now, holiday season. There is so, so much to go over. So without further ado, let me scooch aside and start. First up is from Sydney Grace. Now this is available right now and I just got it in PR last night. And uh, yeah, these shades are gorgeous. My best friend Kelsey Brianna Bay and then Alicia from Kinky Sweat and Glam Girl Chelsea. They talked with several different brand owners and this time they spoke with Sydney Grace, Heather from Sydney Grace, and they created this bundle. And it is the Behind the Beauty bundle. You get five different shadows and a cream shadow for $26.50. The shades of the shadows that you get are Morning Star, Peanut Butter, Paris, Solomon and Lords of Leaping. And then the cream shadow that I got is Spiced Cider. But there's three different options and it kind of is a surprise. They pick it and you get to find out what you get whenever you get it in the mail. Awakening and Campfire are the other two options. Spiced Cider down in the bottom corner is the one that I got. And this is available now and I think it's just while supplies last. I'm not sure of how long it's gonna be out, but it is available. So if you haven't seen it, check that out. Available today from Linda Hauberg Cosmetics, we have a new lip product called Latex Fever, and this is a multi-use product. That's one of the things I really enjoy about Linda Hauberg Cosmetics is that most of their stuff is multi-use, like their crayons, their palettes, the infinity palettes, their balms for the lip stuff. They're multi-use, and I just love that. And these can be used on the lips, obviously, and then cheeks and eyes. Ooh. Editorial wise, something glossy like this on the eyes I just think is so pretty. But this is just gorgeous in general. I really like, like that vampy lip is calling my name, especially like for the spooky season. But of course you guys know I like that red and I really enjoy that pinky nude. It's really beautiful. It's definitely something that I am going to be checking out. In these two pictures, we have a whole bunch of new new and some of these things I am picking up other things I am not. So let's talk about these Dior palettes first. Um, these are available now on Sephora and I picked up two of them. I got the rose gold one and then like the gold one. The one in the middle, the bronzy one, I skipped on just because I pretty much figured that wasn't gonna work well for my skin tone. But I love that they have three different palettes this year. I think that is amazing. And the formulas in these are so much fun. Some of them do have glitter. Others are very skin-like and no glitter at all and just they melt into the skin. But I just really enjoy these. Every time they have come out with one, I've really enjoyed it. So I wanted to pick up the first one and the last one in this picture. I can't wait. I'm, I'm putting these all over my face. Now, Tom Ford, <laughs> holiday, yes ma'am. This is a Soleil Neige palette. It is $88, I got that. It's just so pretty, I can't help myself. And then we have this Soleil Lip Balm. It's a balm frost translucent pink with a gold shimmer. Now, when I first saw this, I had someone send me a picture and a video. And I was like, ugh, I don't really love like, I love to look at the glitter lipsticks because they're so pretty, but then I don't want to touch them. Well, this one, I might have to get two. I've already purchased one, but I might have to get two. I'm not, I know. Do I, I don't need to do that. Just tell me not to do that. <laughs> but this bomb is so pretty. It has the glitter on the outside, but then it comes off and it's just a straight up bomb in the center. So yeah, I am all about that. I've got that. The mini lip wardrobe from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm skipping on that just because I don't, I don't need any little minis. It has Pillow Talk, Walk of No Shame, and Very Victoria. So I have all three of those shades anyway. But if you don't, the set is $29. But again, they are minis. Can we talk about this Pat McGrath palette for just a second? 
just a second because I know you guys saw my last purchase or pass and I was so excited about the entire collection. We had this larger palette and then we had the quads, we have new lips and I was just like so excited about it. And that's the very first time I saw it. And then I found out that two sides of this larger palette is the Star Wars collection. So that irritated me in of itself, but I still was like, I'm still gonna get it. I don't have a shipping confirmation. I bought it the day it came out and I still don't even have a shipping confirmation. I'm irritated. I'm not gonna lie. I am a little bit irritated about that. And then we have the loose powder from Givenchy. This is the Prisma Libra Setting and Finishing Loose Powder Holiday Edition. It's $58. I don't need that. And then we have a collection from Drunk Elephant as well more Tom Ford. Now I love, love, love Lost Cherry. The candle is $132. I might suck it up. I love that smell so much. I might have to pick that one up, but I do already have like the fragrance. Then we have more holiday sets from YSL, Givenchy, again, mini lipsticks. I don't think I need any, or I don't really need any of this. I hate that I use that word so much. I don't really want any of this. Things that I'm the most excited about are the Dior palettes, this eyeshadow palette from Tom Ford and the Tom Ford lip balm. You'll see a video, you'll see a video, faux show, faux show. Ooh, and we have a new palette from Natasha Denona. And at first I couldn't tell, like, and this kind of looked like a version of the retro palette. I need to look further into this to see if any of these shades are repeats, but the color story is gorgeous. This is the mini Zendo palette. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. I'm picking this up. It's done and done. It comes out on the 10th and it is $25. From ColourPop, I kind of feel like I'm missing out now because I went to go purchase this and then I backed out. <sighs> but I kind of want it again. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm very, very interested in this collection, especially just the eyeshadow palette. And I love Hocus Pocus. I love Halloween. I love just like, it's so much fun to me. I know I'm bouncing. I'm sorry. I have a new chair and I'm like, wee. <laughs> but anywho, this collection is so pretty. I originally went, I was like, I'm going to get it. And I was like, no, I have so much to review. Like seriously, I have so much stuff to talk about. I've gotten things and I haven't even showed them yet. And then my Mario stuff just came in. It is four o'clock. I don't have time to go through all, I, that was the plan for today. It was actually to do that. And I just like, mm. but I kind of want this just for myself. I might just pick up this palette and probably these, oh, there's so much. There's lipsticks and liners and these little pots. What are those little pots? I think they're, they're glitterly obsessed. Those are $9 a piece and then the palette is 22. The lip duos, the lipstick and liner is 16. I smell children, I put a spell on you. My kids came home and they had, I guess it was on their principal's office door or something that says, I smell children and they didn't understand except for one. I was like, yeah, focus, focus. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna get this. I probably won't do a review on it. I just want it for myself. The palette's really pretty and I just, I love Hocus Pocus. So this one is just something that's just getting me. And then we have the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream coming out again. And I love to get it when it's in this size. I, it took me a hot minute for me to get used to this smell. At first I could not stand it. It is very, very intense, but I love the way it feels on my skin. So for me, yeah, this is something that I wanna grab because I go through these. But I don't, especially the winter time, my skin feels dry. And it's just, it really helps like my tattoos and everything, especially when I'm wearing uh, like distressed jeans and you can see my tattoos through them and I have like these dry legs, <laughs> especially if I just shaved. This stuff, it, it, it's really, really nice. From Dominique Cosmetics and available now. I didn't even know this was coming out. I probably was off of Instagram for a few days, but as soon as I saw it, I went and I purchased it. I just purchased the entire bundle. It's the Soft Focus Nude Lips Collection by Dominique Cosmetics. There's liners and lipsticks. Now there's six lipsticks, $20 each, and then the liners, there's four and they're $18 each. Like I said, I just picked up the entire collection and I just plan on doing a lip swatch video because I'm telling you, I'm looking at these swatches and like they all look pretty. I don't know which ones to get. So <laughs> nude lips, you just can't have enough. You can't have enough. More lips, this time from Lisa Eldridge. Oh my gosh, 
if you haven't checked her out, period, she is amazing. But her lipstick formula is also amazing. Both of them. There's a more creamy one and then there's the matte one, which is more of like a soft matte, like a velvety matte. And it's just, oh, they are incredible. And she's got these new lip kits. Oh, I had to have them. I also picked up two of the new like bundles for the lipsticks and they're pre-orders. They're going to ship out at the end of the month, but if you wanted those, get on it because these sell out so fast. And she also has these new lip products in kits. So she has new glosses and liners. I only picked up one of those kits because I just want to try out one of the glosses and one of the liners and then I picked up some more lipsticks. But I'm definitely... I, I, I just... I had to try it out. I had to try it out. So again, you will see a video on this. I can't say anything about the gloss and the liner formula, but if you're curious about her formula of lipsticks, they're amazing. They are amazing. From MAC Cosmetics, this is available now and is for the brows. Now you might know that I'm not gonna pick this up just because I said I, I'm done trying <laughs> new brow gels and things to hold my brow hairs up because what I have works. And I keep buying other ones and testing them out and. I just don't like them as much as I do this guy right here, my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This is called the Fresh Out of the Shower Brow Gel. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but I don't like my brows when I just got out of the shower. <laughs> when I just got out of the shower, my brow hairs are down. They are not up where like, mm -mm, and they just look messy. So to me, that just doesn't give me the best visual. That could just be me. It is for a brushed out fluffy brows with a luminous finish. I just don't know how I feel about the luminous finish. Is that the whole shower thing? I, mm, I don't know about this, but I'm not gonna try it. It's $26. I, I don't want my brows to look shiny. I prefer them to look matte and then also Again, I, I don't like my brows out of out of the, to the shower. Okay, I'm moving on. In my last purchase or pass, I had a sneak peek of the Makeup by Mario brand. And now we have the full collection. It is available now at Sephora. And like I said, I just got it. <laughs> so it's gonna be a few days before I can get it out to you because I bought a lot. I bought the matte palette. I bought the shimmer or metallic palette. I also bought the like liquid gold palette. I bought the eye primer. I got two of like the highlighty but for the eyes as well shades. I got a lot and I got the brushes so it's gonna be a long video. <laughs> and I got the mixing medium. There is so much here to go over. So that's my next project is to go over that. But it is available now if you would like to get your hands on it. New shadows from Sugar Pill. These all look beautiful. All of them look beautiful. Sleepwalker, Helium, Flurry, 16, and Ego. These are all available now and they are just gorgeous. But the one that I want is Sleepwalker. I am just looking at this and the description says, it's a glacial silver with iridescent turquoise sheen. That alone, that just give it to me, give it to me. So I'm probably gonna pick up Sleepwalker. I think all the other shades are really pretty as well. Do I need them? No, do I even need Sleepwalker? No, but is it calling my name? Yes, yes it is. And uh, these are, what, to, what price are you? There's no price on here. Oh, well, they're available now. Again, available now, this time from Melt Cosmetics. And when I first saw these, I got excited because I thought there was gonna be new stacks, <laughs> like eyeshadow stacks. And the reason, like, I don't like the stacks because they take up room, I forget about them, yada yada, but I love that formula. I wanted palettes for so long and then I got palettes and then I haven't been happy with the formula. And now they were releasing stacks again. I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm gonna try them. No, I'm not because <laughs> these are sculpting stacks and they are $48 each. Now there is a cream stack and a powder stack and they're again both sculpt stacks. The powder sculpt stack reads that it's a sheer yet buildable formula that allows you to effortlessly control the intensity of your application. And then the cream stack is a five shade cream stack matte finish for all skin types even oily. Just like with the brow gel, I'm really not interested in sculpting, contouring palettes or stacks. If I ever got anything that was more along the contour lines, it would have to be like a two pan type of deal. Not this many. 
it's just too much. Uh, I'm passing. It's just not something I'm interested in. The Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I love it. I love it. I love it. The new one is, what is this? Lemon Sorbet. It sounds like it's going to smell so delicioso. But I have to tell you that I have the one at the bottom, which is Mint Choco. And I was really excited about that because I love mint chocolate. It is, I, I just love mint chocolate. But it's taken me a while to go through with this one because I actually don't really care for it that much. I thought this was going to be one that I really, really enjoyed. But I keep like grabbing for other bombs. So it's taking me longer to get through this Laneige mask than it has any other one. So I don't, it's not that it smells bad or it leaves a weird taste in your mouth or anything like that. It just, uh, I don't know. It just doesn't tickle my fancy. Let's just put it that way. I really thought I was going to like the mint choco and I, I didn't end up really caring for it. The formula is still great. I'm still going to end up using it up, but just because I don't really care for the smell, it takes me longer to use. The last thing that I'm going to go over is I guess the rest of the Givenchy collection for the holidays. Now some of this I do think is available now, but the rest of it just says coming soon. So we have a Back to Light palette, a Rouge Givenchy, a Rouge Givenchy Velvet, the Prism Libre face powder like I mentioned before. We have perfumes, the solid perfume, a top coat with black sparkle. There's so much. Lip on the go palette. There's so, so much. Let me just start off with this bigger palette, which has lipsticks, <laughs> powder, and we have the eyeshadows. I just, um, it's so strange to me that I just filmed things that I no longer purchase, and I feel like they're all just like coming out. I'm like, I haven't seen a palette with lip products in them in a little bit. And now all of a sudden I see it again with Givenchy. I do not like that. I just don't like it. I don't want to carry around a palette like this if I'm going to touch up my lip. It's just not realistic to me. And that's just a whole lot of red in there. And then it, it's just boring. I, I'm not, I'm not excited for it. Even if it didn't have, you take all the lipsticks out in the palette and of itself, I, I don't care for it. I just don't care for it. And then the lipsticks, I don't know. I mean, I love reds and I love orangey reds, but I'm more inclined to purchase them because I have so many of them when there's a new formula or something out or a formula that I already know that I really, really enjoy. And this isn't something I just, I'm not really excited about it. I'm just not. The only thing that I think is cute and that I could possibly want just because I think it's cute is the little star palette which just looks like it has three different shades for those eyes and it's really really pretty but honestly it's just because I like stars so much not that I actually need a silver or black and a white shimmery shade for the eyes I don't need it I really don't and I don't really want it I just like stars so this whole collection for me is a skip and then there's even just like the lip palette which that's not so bad. To me, you know, if you take a little lip palette, that's fine. But when you have the shadows and the powders and all that stuff and you're taking that in your purse, it's just like, it's too much. But yeah, I'm skipping on everything, everything in this collection. It doesn't interest me at all. All right, beauties, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And hopefully the next video I will see you guys in is the Makeup by Mario. Fingers crossed. Bye, guys.